Donald Trump claims to be Mr. Law and Order. I am the Law and Order candidate. Yesterday, Trump announced he was going to do to Chicago, Kansas City, and Albuquerque what he did to Portland, Oregon, send in his version of Hitler's Gestapo, a camouflaged secret police squad to help stop rioting and street violence. We're in Chicago. 68 people were shot and 18 died last week. We're not going to put up with that. But here's the deal. Donald Trump has been the nation's chief executive for the past 1,280 days. Congratulations, Mr. President. After taking the oath of office on January 20th, 2017, President Trump made this pledge to the nation's citizens. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. However, the carnage hasn't stopped. In fact, it has seemingly been going double time. Three of the 10 worst mass killings in U.S. history have happened under Donald Trump's watch. <laughs> the nation's deadliest October 1st, 2017 at a country music concert in Las Vegas. The fifth deadliest, November 5th, 2017 at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, near San Antonio. <laughs> the suspect's mother-in-law attended this church. Uh, we know that he had made threaten, uh, threatening, uh, uh, she had reset threatening texts from him. Number nine, the massacre of 17 students and teachers at Stoneman Douglas High School in South Florida. I was in the classroom and all of my hair was shots. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And we're just sitting on the floor and we're just panicking. During the first three years of the Trump presidency, there have been an average of 366 mass shooting incidents per year and an average of 15,225 murders nationwide. During the last three years of the Obama-Biden administration, there were an average 328 mass shootings a year and 13,689 murders. The shooting happened at 11.20 p.m. Pacific time in Thousand Oaks, California. And so under Donald Trump, murder in America is up 11.2% and mass shootings have risen 12%. West Freeway Church of Christ live streaming the service as the man seen there at the top stood up from his seat, pulled out a long gun and fired several times. Other church members right there shooting back. One victim was killed, another in critical condition. The carnage has not stopped. There has been lawlessness and disorder. Who will keep Americans safer from violence and murder? The data seems clear. Trump is the wrong choice. Joe Biden is the right one.